Hey Taurus, TC here with another channel message. This message is for my Taurians that have been trying to close the door on a person, place, or thing. But you've been feeling like this energy, this entity, or this person has had like a strong grip on you. All right, my candle's flickering. So there's something here. Um, that has been trying to deceive you and trying to make you doubt some type of intuitive knowing for some of you this to be your gifts for others of you I'm hearing your dreams okay so you could be going through a season of feeling like You know, something's trying to like grab you or hold on to you and make you kind of stay stagnant or stay stuck. It could be your own shadow. All right. For some of you, I'm hearing it may be your own shadow that wants your attention. And it's almost demanding that you uh, confront it or demanding that you do this shadow work. But for majorities of you, this is someone else or this is someone that is really persistent persistent to get you back persistent to hold on you persistent to make you change your mind all right so the channel message that i got for you taurus spirit is confirming that the world is your oyster whatever you have been dreaming about the spirit has been sending you those dreams the downloads the inspiration the creative ideas all of those have been divinely guided orchestrated for you to be able to envision a life or a alter reality from the one that you have already lived or you are currently experiencing so i have a stiller of dreams okay so someone's stealing your dreams or stealing your ideas trying to take credit for themselves i'm also hearing person impersonate so someone's trying to impersonate you, Taurus. Um, you know, trying to steal your still they're trying to like latch on or attach themselves onto your your gifts, your dreams, your aspirations, whatever confirmations that spirit has been putting put on your path. Um you have someone listening, watching, and trying to intercept that for them oh all right i'm back had a little cough there <laughs> i've tried not to laugh too hard because <coughs> it's it's hilarious to me however <coughs> what's even more what, what spirit wants you to know even more is that um Whoever this person is, they may try to befriend you. They may be an ex. But this person is no good for you, Taurus. Right? Your kindness is being taken for weakness. Your energy and your time is being undervalued. Um, Overgiving or oversharing is not allowed in this season. Okay? However, Spirit is saying you're still allowing someone, something um, to deceive you. For some of you, like I said, it's an ex, okay, someone that you walked away from. <clears throat> what else? Yeah, this person is like trying to slither their way back into your life. This ex is trying to like creep back in there. They could be using the kids. They could be using just, you know, telling you what you want to hear. They know your weakness. Usually when you feel heartbroken by another person, that's the best time for them to come in and sweep you off your feet. So if you were trying to like move on with another person um, and it didn't kind of work out the way you expected it to work, this person is coming back to, to catch you when you fall. All right, I had channeled a message last, uh, what was it, last week Friday about that. And I didn't post it because it didn't feel like the right time. So I'm going to post that today. So you guys can um, hear it. But yeah, this person has it a way about themselves. And they're being exposed for that type of behavior. It's not unacceptable. Okay. But for others of you, it's a habit. It's an addiction. It's a substance. It's a way of thinking that's been leaving you pretty much paralyzed or stuck. 
unsure of the manifestations that spirit has been showing you okay so if you've been you know feeling like something is off or you're just not sure what it is like it's like something riding you but you can't really quite put your finger on it but you feel it there and you're like i know I'm, i know something's not wrong with me but it may be like in the body where it's like as you're talking or you're trying to do something you might be hearing like a counterproductive thought or a counterproductive thought process come up to the forefront like you know i want to go to the gym and then you might hear you know oh why do that you might have like a a, nag, a, a, a nagging devil on your shoulder trying to like talk you down talk you out of doing the necessary steps to get you where you want to go in life so the message to you is really loud it's really clear it's mask off Taurus mask off it's time to show the world the real you it's time to cut the fuck up it's time to snap it's time to snap back it's time to show up it's time to show out it's time to get angry no one wants to see a, a, a angry bull but now is the time to fucking show the world that you can get angry okay because they got the wrong fucking one today look at that lying lies they got the wrong fucking one today hold on taurus all right i'm back so yeah we got the seven of swords so someone's lies is being exposed here yeah we got someone's lies being exposed here taurus <clears throat> Spirit, what about these lies four of pentacles yeah someone's holding back some type of truth from you money they're holding on to you for some of you they're lying to you saying that they're that they're done with you or they're not trying to get back with you and that's a bold-faced lie someone is literally um watching you like i said this is just con the tarot is really just confirming the message spirit already gave me mm -hmm. so let's see this four of pentacles i'm also hearing that someone could have got paid and they told you they were going to they're going to give you some type of money back when they got uh paid or something and they haven't told you that they got paid so someone is sitting on the money that that's owed to you Taurus, and they haven't given it to you yet because um they're hoping that you will forget about it like Taurus, you're nice you'll forget about it but they know they like owe you something yeah, someone's racking up a lot of debt here. And I feel like whoever this person is, either they're coming to ask you, Taurus. Um, they're either coming to ask you for like some of your money or they're coming to ask you for something that you have. Somebody wants your energy back. They want your time back. They want your investment back. In order for them to get that back, they feel like they have to... wiggle their way in okay this is someone trying to manifest a relationship back with you by trying to see what what you're lacking that's what i heard okay this person's trying to see what you're lacking you were too strong before okay so because you were too strong someone has been paying another person to They've been, what is it? They've been paying. They've been paying somebody. What have they been paying? What have they been paying here? They they've been meddling in your love life, Taurus. This person here has been meddling in your love life, like paying someone. Um. Uh, they've been paying to 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 create some type of delays financially for you, so you can't really move on. But who would have that much access to you, Taurus, to be able to even slow you down in that way? 
Who would have that much access to you? How would they gain that much access towards you? To even act as a as a roadblockage for you. That's what I need to know. Spirit, how did how is this person even capable of doing this to Taurus? How is this person capable of doing this? Four cups. Oh, this person watches you, Taurus. This person watches for you to have failed relationship. So, in, hold on. <clears throat> this person feels like you're in pursuit of love. Okay, you're looking for love, but you're bored of the options. So they're watching you playing both fields. So they're paying someone to create false romance in your life. How are they? The devil. Yeah. This person is paying some type of this could be a sorcerer or someone that does love spells here a very scorned person this person has been hurt a lot of time a lot by a lot of people in love and relationships so this person has solicited this could be this person's <clears throat> for some of you this could be this person's mother libra gemini aquarius I'm just hearing like an older woman or an older person in someone's life. This is someone that had this person. Th this person's mom is mad at you, Taurus, for breaking their child's heart, or for divorcing their child, or there's something that they orchestrated for you guys to be together, and they're paying like some type of um. They're paying for some type of dark magic on you, Taurus. Mm-hmm. To, like, get you where it hurts. To bring you back to this, this union. To bring you back to this relationship. There was some type of attach attachment financially. That either you are receiving someone has some has blood ties here all right blood ties I that I'm seeing here have been created either like through a child or you're you're requiring someone give equally to a child or offspring and it keeps you tied to this family so in order to cut this blood tie you would have to cut any type of income or resources from that entire lineage whoa because so much as so as long as you're constantly needing something from them you're creating a karmic reciprocity that they can pull on and you like willed you back into that person's life into their child's life so someone someone's karmic here is refusing to let go okay someone's karmic here is telepathically communicating with you or your person Taurus and they're refusing to let go in a way where the, whoever this 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 person is that they've paid to be a to like create roadblocks for you in love they've been paying someone to do sacrifices here look at this they've been paying someone to do sacrifices to literally pick certain people to come towards you Taurus and romantically want your attention the objective here in this love spell is for you to literally run into several different love options get excited as if that's your person that you've been looking for and then they rip the rug from underneath you every time they do that they're expecting you to be so fed up with the outside options that you feel compelled to go back to the karmic 
or you feel compared compelled like there's nothing better out there for me this was all a hoax I should have never left the nest or I should have never left home or I should have left never left mama or I should have never left daddy all that type of shit okay and sometimes this can really be like your ex-families or your ex-spouses or your ex-boyfriend and girlfriends that are literally like stalking, watching, creating the confusion in your life and holding on to you in a way where this is like a, a hurt person. I heard Mama D. So I don't know what Mama D had to do with it, but I'm hearing like that type of energy where you know, you'll pay for what you've done to someone in my family or you'll pay, but it's like a, a actual living, this is an actual person that's like scorn either by something you did Taurus specifically or scorn because you got out of, you got out of a marriage or you got out of a relationship with them. This person, you could have been married to this person's um, Taurus, and they're mad that you got out of the marriage. You broke the contract here with this devil card. You could have been legally married and you got legally divorced. Yeah, and the objective is to have you running back towards this person. After feeling like you couldn't find anything better than where you came from. So like I said. <clears throat> there are some karmics here that are trying to get you to go back to where you came from, Taurus. <clears throat> trying to get you to go back to where you came from. Like you were never supposed to leave the tower. You were never supposed to leave the nest. You were never supposed. Some of y'all, you could be like a young Taurian. And you're just leaving, you know, your evil step parents or your evil parents. But this is like literally someone being held hostage, trying to be someone's trying to hold a Taurian hostage here with this four of pentacles. That's your energy, Taurus. This is someone trying to fix a Taurus here. Whoever you are, someone's trying to fix you. Oh, yeah, this is about to stop here. Someone is destined to, like, they they were warned, okay? Somebody was warned here. Your karmic partner was warned, okay, to, like, stop messing with you, Taurus. Spirit has been warning this person to stay out of it, to stop trying to interfere. They've been warning this family. They've been warning multiple people there is some type of with will of fortune because they refuse to hold on to you and they're still trying to come in and intercept what's divinely been confirmed for you Taurus in your life they're about to meet death okay spirit is saying prepare yourselves for some of you it is an actual literal fated ending and their birth chart will show you that they would they would succumb okay for some of you it, it could be in from from drinking okay they will succumb to some type of drink or they're going to succumb to some type of ending here and you see how i was breaking down to you the four of pentacles or this could literally be by the element of water. Someone could have it in their birth chart that they're they're destined to succumb to an ending of water, and that's something that that <coughs> it's like whatever they whatever was meant for you, they were was meant to be your intoxication. Whatever was meant to poison you. Taurus is destined to be the end for someone else. They will fall by their own poison. All they've doing is all they've been doing is is holding on to all that resentment and it's about to catch up to them with the will of fortune. Three of swords, Hierophant, 
someone hasn't been able to let you go they don't they they took they took it real hard someone took an ending here really really hard but this this attachment was destined to end this way this person was given more than one opportunity to stop is there anything else with this ending specifically some of you they're going their ending is going to be losing jobs losing money losing funds like uh, someone was was warned to stop playing in your energy look at that will of fortune there's some type of destined um counterpart for you taurus that's been delayed and it's been delayed due to a karmic partner either on your behalf or your person's behalf and th this is this was delaying someone's maturity so someone's maturity was being delayed deliberately by by another person by a karmic partner that was intentionally slowing your person down or you Taurus from bringing about a destined connection or a destined um ev ev evolution i'm hearing okay so someone was was destined to evolve mature grow up see clearly but they weren't able to see clearly or finish some type of ascension because a certain part on the path hadn't been illuminated yet someone's spiritual someone's spiritual mastery or spiritual development was being delayed deliberately by someone that was doing um dark magic okay trying to manipulate time to slow things down with uh, a counterpart here and sending you like a whole bunch of duds to make you go back to your karmic okay so some of you this could have been like an assigned entity like an entity was assigned to you to bring you like a whole bunch of empty vessels but it was really like the same entity and multiple people and that entity was assigned to you by a karmic partner there's the truth yeah a karmic partner was envious of you Taurus. your energy is not out here outside of the four of pentacles this karmic partner was refusing to like bow out gracefully so they have to learn the hard way yeah and they're pretty much about to be it's, it's all about to backfire on a lot of these connections in someone's home like a lot of this a lot of stuff is about to backfire in someone's home okay for messing with divine counterparts this is definitely like a for those of you that have been having like intuitive messages like you know that spirit has been telling you that someone is coming that you're meant to be with someone and you've been trying to like you know stick it out remain single and you're like why it what is it what's wrong why can't i have my relationship to progress like you've been dealing with a lot of karmic ties like blood ties here that have been trying to mess with your your love life so in order to out in order to outsmart okay or outwit this energy you had to let time by you had to let you know whatever was weapons were formed against you to play out but they wouldn't prosper that's what spirit had promised you that it wouldn't prosper it wouldn't stick okay whatever they thought was going to be the end of you it wouldn't be the end of you so you've been pr being protected But in this, like, there is this moment where um, when you're down, this person is going to try to come in and they're going to do like, I heard enough. You, you saw the movie enough. They're going to try to, like, force themselves on you. Like, get you alone. Someone is planning on, on getting you, getting your defenses down. But it's like when you're down and you're beat, like you feel like this person feels like they beat you 
I'm seeing the last scene in the movie enough. And I think in the last scene, he told her when he was teaching her how to defend herself that that's how, you know, narcissistic, arrogant this person is. They will literally go in and try to finish the deal because they can't help but to like feed off of your pain or feeling like you're that low again. Yeah. So this person is going to see some type of opportunity to take everything from you in one sweep. Someone's planning on hitting you harder than they than they did the first time, the second time, the third time. This this time they trying they trying to finish you like mortar combat out here. They trying to finish you, Taurus. But I feel like you see this shit coming. I feel like you see this shit coming a mile away. And when that person go in to put their foot on your neck and apply that type of pressure, I feel like you're going to be ready. Right? You're going to let them have their moment. I see you letting them have their moment. Letting them think that they got you down. And then you just boss up on her. You go from, from having nothing to having everything. From having everything stripped from you to, to, to having like 10 times that. Like you're independent. You really don't need shit from nobody. Oh yeah, you're about to have some type of... It's like beast mode. Yeah, I'm telling you, Ten of Pentacles. So the confirmation is still the same. The message is still the same. Taurus, you don't need to ask these people for anything. You don't need to. You don't need to make them know what's right and what's wrong. You're you're not talking to real people. You're talking to the devil. You're talking to the karmics. All right, you know, learn what you what it is you needed to learn. That cycle, that ten year cycle is over. That twenty year cycle is over. Some of y'all, y'all did double sentences, twenty plus years, and it's completely over. And you never will have to go back to learning those those lessons that 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 karmic taught you. It's just one last thing. Look at that. Yeah, you're moving, you're, you're like, you won't even, they're telling you don't look back. What's about to happen to these people? What's about to happen to this person? Like, the type of karma that's about to hit them. You will be bathing in the sun. You will be healing. You'll recover. Yeah, I feel like you will have to recover. It will hurt. Um, It may not be something that you wanted to happen or an ending that you were expecting. I don't think you would want that for anybody. But, like, it's a wrap for somebody. Okay? Something about Saturn. Yeah, something about Saturn in the past two years. Now that Saturn's direct, everything that was intended for you is about to be returned to sender. Yo. Let's get some messages for closing. Let me see. The appearance retribution. A lot has a lot has gone down here. Skyfather, trust in the unknown. Yeah, I'm telling you, Saturn here saw everything from the bird's eye view. Your ancestors, guardian angel, they are not happy. You are not alone. If you've been feeling alone, like you've been, you know, trying to hang on and you like, please, God, just like, I'm tired. Protection. You are protected by your ancestors. There is no if and but the balance. A ballot. The balance is being restored in this situation. The game was not fair. This is not how it was meant to happen. Someone was breaking laws, universal laws, and doing things towards you. And and like, like I said, trust, trust. Like it says, trust in the unknown. You are not alone. Protection. 
you're being protected right now because you have a lot of black magic being thrown your way all right taurus these are the messages that i have for you for today i'm sending you lots of love wisdom and guidance on your journey i'll see you tomorrow 11 11 bye